Hello mentors, in this video we will learn how to use App Inventor offline. So in this video we will learn how to use this offline software, App Inventor offline software in Windows and we will see how we can use it in Macbook also. So let me just search here, I am using your Windows, so just open Google and search here, download offline version of MIT App Inventor. And then we need to just scroll down and this will be community post open this and then we need to scroll down here you scroll down and you can see here the this one AI tool is outdated use this one so use this one just click on that link I will give you that link in the description so just click on this and we have to download that software AI to offline so just click on that download button and wait some seconds so downloading is started so let me just go to the my download folder let's see the speed it's downloading it's take around uh, omg it's take around 10 minutes maybe okay so wait some seconds so after downloading you will get that message like this file was blocked because it's could harm your device so we have to click on keep okay make sure keep and you can see uh, delete and cancel so click on show more or you can see the keep anyway so select this and wait some seconds now fine now click on that so in folder and that one is your offline app inventor we just need to right click on that and run as administrator click on this and still you can see the windows protected your pc so click on that more info and then you can see run anyway just select this okay and then you have to channel device yes click on this and then you have to accept agreement and then next then create a desktop short shortcut then next then install and wait some seconds so till now let me just close all these uh, browsers download windows and that one also and wait some second for this now it's done so we need to click on that finish and wait some seconds it's launching so now what we need to do we need to click on a start invent you can see that one last option so click on this and this will redirect you to the local host so this will open your default browser and then like uh, local host 888 so wait some seconds to start this app inventor so you can see the um, can't reach this page because maybe the error of like uh, maybe the rela error related to server okay so how we can resolve this so if your server is not working properly so what you need to do you need to click on all these options and then exit from all these options then exit from that whole AI offline click on that exit and then restart again the server okay now how we can restart so it's simple you need to go to the folder here or you have created, already have created some shortcut for this or you can go here like uh, let me just go to the this pc option and you can see the local disk and then ai2 offline this one and you have to start this from here again okay if this will not work now let me just go to the mit implementer it's working for uh, right now now we need to click on that the click here to use a google icon to log in so click on this or now click on that chat sign in as administrator and click on login this is the default email address so you don't need to put any google account or anything here because it's an offline version okay so even if you don't have a uh, internet connection so still you can work with this so let me just open this mit app inventor term of work, accept the term of service so you can see that close and now your Offline app inventor is working fine. I think oh, it's already off because electricity is gone. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's really perfect example for you right now. So you can just try its generator working or not. Just open Google here. It's working. No, you're not connected to internet. So go to the MIT app inventor. Let me click on start new project and my project name is hello and then okay. It's working perfectly. Now let me just open this. 
and let me just drag and drop one button oh i'm sorry drag and drop one button label or anything and let me just go to the uh, block section so you can do some block coding here like this or whatever you want okay and then on that click button i'm to set that label font size to like something max and zero to like something 20 or something like this then go to the design and let me just click on that build option and you can see the android apk and android app bundle also so you can create both so click on that android apk and wait some seconds internet is still not connected okay not connected but still i can work with mit app inventor because it's an offline version so you can see guys there's apk file you can download this click on this apk file download and you can see we have downloaded the apk file it means you can run app inventor offline using your windows os now how can i use this on my macbook so guys let me show you i am using this on my mac then how i use it so what i have done i have installed the vmware vmware is a software where you can create virtual machine it means you can use the windows in the virtual machine like in the vmware so what i have done first i have installed the vmware on my macbook and then i have installed the windows 10 in my vmware then i have installed that i have downloaded the ai offline version in my windows version or you can see the virtual machine then i am using that uh, uh, MIT App Inventor because there is no option to use App Inventor as a offline for Macbook. There is an option for Windows but not for Macbook. So how we can use App Inventor offline on my Mac. So that's the process of how we can use it. So that is really amazing thing. So there are a lot of advantages to use App Inventor offline because there are a lot of things you can do. Like uh, yesterday I'm facing problem with the server because server is busy. That's why I'm not able to generate the APK file. So like we can avoid this type of error so it's really cool thing to use app inventor offline yeah it's not necessary you can use still use online version but some people needed offline version because they have the problem with internet connection so guys you can use this uh, method to use app inventor offline so let me just suggest if you need any help regarding this so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problem thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye